I don't call myself a Christian. I don't call myself a Catholic. I don't call myself anything. I just say I believe in God. I'm not a Christian rapper. I'm not a. I'm not. A, I'm not a mainstream rapper. I'm not a YouTube rapper. I'm not an underground rapper. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a. I'm not a, a green or a blue rapper. I'm just. I'm an artist. One day I'm gonna rap about how I'm the best. The next day I might rap about my belief with God. The next day I might rap about how I love this girl. The next day I might rap about how my shoes are blue. You know, I might rap about how I'm in black forces, but I'm not about to do no bad shit. Dax is whatever he wants to be, you know. It's Dax! So the idea for Dear God was actually like three years ago when I started writing poetry. But like when I started it, it never, like, it didn't seem like it was ever going to be a song. I used to write like Dear, I had Dear School, Dear God. And then like Dear Alcohol, I have all these different poems. So Dear God was one, but there was just never a beat to it. There's this guy named Encore Beats, and he's the one I got the beat from. It was on YouTube. It was like a NF slash g -E -Z beat or something like that. And, it, and I played it in the car, and as soon as it started, I said, Dear God. And I was like, wow, so this poem that I'd finally had for like three years was finally fit to a beat, so it was dope. I just want to make this clear. I am a believer, but sometimes it gets hard. My name is Dex. Dear God, there's a lot of questions that I have about the past and I don't want to hear it from a human you made it so you're the last person that I'm ever gonna ask. I was thinking like, so I grew up in church, I was an altar boy, I was in the choir, then I went to a private Catholic Christian school when I went prep school for basketball and then I ended up finishing at a, at a private Catholic school at my D2 when I transferred from D1. So it was just like, I've been in so many Bible classes, I've you know been in front of so many pastors, it was just like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of just like, hearing it from people not disrespectful i'm just i'm just I'd, I'd rather just talk to you about it my g doesn't my g come from god is, is that, i think that's what is that a play off of that or not nah? tell me what's real tell me what's fake why is everything about you a debate what's the point of love every time i showed it i was broken in this forced me just to only want to hate why is there only one you but multiple religions i've always felt like this like the world is just playing one big game of telephone think about humans we've been here for so many years so it's like messages are getting passed through different generations and through different people, through different countries, with different heights, races, all these things, climate. So it's like everyone is gonna create their own version of what I guess the original message is, which is what we're all still somewhat confused about in the first place. So I think that's why there's like multiple religions. It's just, it's a big game of telephone. Why does every conversation end in a division? Why does everybody wanna tell us how to live but they won't listen to the same damn message that they're given? Tell me how to feel. Tell me what's wrong. I tried to call, pick up the phone. I'm on my own. So your parents tell you to pray every night, pray every night, pray every night. You know what I mean? And like they say, you know, talk to God, talk to God. So there came a point in my life where I was like, I was praying every night, I was young. But then like, like my mom would be like, you know, if you keep praying, like you'll talk to him, you know what I mean? So it's like some nights I would go to my room, like in the dark and I'd be like, okay, tonight, I'm really going to concentrate. Like I'm really gonna get like in my feelings and I'm really gonna like pray super hard and like maybe he'll talk to me. But as you get older, you're just like, okay, you know, it's just like, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna hear the actual words from the actual. I'm actual God. Everybody says you coming back to man, why the hell's it taking so long? Why do I hurt? Why is there pain? Why does everything good always have to change? Why does everybody try to profit off another man's work then destroy it just for monetary gain? Tell me all you black or all you white. I don't even really care. I just really want to know what's right. They've been saying one thing, but I've been looking in the book and it seems like they've been lying for my whole damn life. I remember being a kid, right? Growing up in schools, I remember I moved from like the inner city of Ottawa, Canada to the suburbs. And like obviously like, you know, God is everywhere in the schools and all these things. And so you see this picture of a white, of a white God. And obviously growing up, I don't care. I'm like, dope. But then you get older, right? And all of a sudden, one day someone's like, yo, you know they're lying, right? God was black, bro. It's like, you know, they were back that time in the sun and like, there's no way his skin could have been blah, blah, blah. So then I'm like, okay, bet, let me go Google this. And as soon as you go to Google, what do you put in? Is God black? And thousands of things come up. And I'm talking about like, people write books on this. At the end of the day, I really don't care whether God is black or white, but just like, I would like to know. Tell me where I'm going. Is it heaven or hell? I just hope this message greets you well. Had a dream that I was walking with the devil. Don't remember how it feels, but I swear that I remember the smell. Looked me right into my eye and told me everything I wanted could be mine if I gave up and decided to sell. But I said I'd rather die than get mine. Now I'm here. No fear, one man with a story to tell. Dear God, where were you when I needed it? When I fucked up and repeated it? When they set the bar and I exceeded it? My life is like a book that they've been judging by a cover but have never took the time to fucking read the shit. I remember telling you my goals and my dreams but you didn't even answer so I guess you didn't believe in it. I remember sitting with a gun to my head trying to ask you for some help, but I guess you didn't believe in it. 
I don't want religion, I need that spirituality. I don't want a church, I need people to call a family. I don't want to tell my sins to another sinner just because he's got a robe and he went to some academy. When I was younger, like, they always used to say, like, okay, this is the time where we're gonna, like, go do confessional, or, like, you confess your sins, and like, you'd walk into, like, the little booth and, like, the pastor would be on the other side. I just remember getting to, like, 13 or 14 and just being like, nah, that's not for me. Like, I don't even, I can't even see a dude on the other side, and, like, I just don't like the whole feel of, like, like, who is this guy? Like, I don't, you know? So I stopped doing that. So that was when I just started, like, confessing, like, not confessing, but just being like, oh, you know, God forgive me for this, and I'll just do it through a prayer. I don't want to read it in the book, I want to hear it from you. Don't want to learn it in my school because they hide in the truth. Don't want to talk about it to another fucking human being, and that's the only reason that I even stepped in this booth. Dear God, how do I take this darkness and turn it into light? How do I believe in the concept where I speak to a man I've never seen with my own two eyes? How do I know that religion wasn't made just to separate the world and create a whole disguise just to keep us in these chains while the rich get richer and the poor pray to you and perpetuate a lie? If humans like create a religion or you create a religion or whatever it is, like, how do I know the motives of the people who created it? You know, what were really their motives? And now it was all the way back then, so have the motives changed? And if we're like, you know, innately sinners, who am, like, how can I know that they're trying to you know, do it for the right reason, which is why I say I don't need religion, I need spirituality. Like, okay, so maybe I gotta cut these people out who are innately sinners and just have a connection with you. How do I know this ain't some big joke? How can I have faith when there is no hope? How the hell does one man have a hundred billion dollars and we still have people on the street that are broke? There's a lot of things I want to talk about and get off my chest. I can't sleep because the devil won't let me rest. I used to know a fucking pastor in a church and I can still hear the screams of the kids he will fucking molest. So when Inspired, that was actually crazy. I think my mom called me maybe like, I think it was two years ago and she told me that one of like the people in our church had gotten like taken away. One of the churches I was in growing up, they had found out that the dude was like doing stuff at his past church and then he had like came to our church as like a deacon or something like that. And then eventually they ended up just like coming in, like he wasn't allowed to to work there anymore. Well, obviously there's been like a lot of things about passions and stuff like that, but that line came from my mom, that call from my mom that day. Dear God, do you hear me? I'm supposed to fear you, but you ain't said shit. So maybe it's you who actually fears me. I don't know the answer, I just wanna see it clearly. So many lies, there's a thousand different theories. All I wanna know is who really made religion, cause I know it wasn't you, but don't nobody believe me. No more lies, no more death. Bring back King, bring back X. Please, dear God, let their souls rest. Protect who's left and watch their steps. In the song, I said, bring back King, bring back X. When I was personally talking about it, I was talking about Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. But I knew also that a bunch of people were going to attribute it to XXXTentacion. But I was fine with that because I know he's also impacted a lot of people in a positive way too. You can take it however you want. That's why it's just an X, you know what I mean? So I was fine with people taking it either way. So it's really subjective in how you want to feel. Dear God, I don't want to have to ask you again. All I hope is that you know that I'm still a believer, so I'll end this all by saying amen. I started the song, you know, by saying I was a believer, and I ended the song by saying amen because I thought it would just be so powerful that after, you know, three minutes or whatever it is of just asking questions, you know, to God and sort of like, you know, people really thinking, wow, is he not a believer? People not really knowing that you end it all by saying amen, basically cementing that even though I do have all these questions and I do have all this like, you know, doubt at some times that I still believe. A lot of people will meet me and be like, wow, you don't talk like you rap. And I'm like, yeah, like I'm rapping, you know, like, <laughs> like it's just different, you know, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not screaming, shouting all day. I'm I'm chilling, relaxing. Yeah, people want they want it's they want me to like scream now and be like, bro, that's not the vibe right now, man. We're just, you know.